Hey there, everyone. <laughs> this is how cow and boy, do I don't know <laughs> what is going to happen today. This game is called Bong. I think it's Bongers. I'm not sure. I don't know how to read Russian. But yeah, this is a mid 90s Russian PC game that still exists and is still playable. Uh, this, like, it's been supported by the community and is available on Steam. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go right in, huh? Like, that's the right thing to do. We are going to be learning how this game works together. I've left the options pretty much as is because I've heard a game can get crashy, so I just kind of kept everything as is other than adding like just some physics things and changing my controls so that they control like something a human would play. And I guess we're just gonna go right in. And uh, we got a bit of writing. And I was suggested to, you know, take it in as it will give us context for this contextless game. So here we go. Prehistory human expansion. At the end of 20th century, the unification of scientific and this esoteric knowledge had long been separate and antagonistic occurred. This was initiated by certain human spirits which achieved transcendental contact with powers resembling an infinite mind. The mind had long been foretold, despite by some denied to exist by other. Time was right, and the information gained from the contact, the theoretical principles of which were completely unknown, could be used successfully in real life. Technology that has the most dramatic impact on human evolution was a permanent telling of space uh, passages. So yeah, a little bit of context. This game I have heard described as a racing RPG. <laughs> so add that to the mix. So that's my cursor. You need to click with the claw part. That's the part that interacts, not the ore part, the claw part. The cosmos model of the universe with planet stars and gas became unnecessary. Okay, okay, so we're traveling through space time, but more space and time. Ooh, going more than the galaxy. The concept of meta galaxy. Building and activating a passage by an enormous amount of energy and destination point was impossible to predict. Sounds really reliable. <laughs> okay, alright, that seems very human. I assemble knowledge from the new world, others on Congress was down with vehicles of mass destruction. Alright, no, yeah, that, that tracks. Humans expanded and conquered new worlds for hundreds of years. That's been going on for a bit. That, yeah. Without even completing the, re the reconnaissance element of one world. Oh, jeez. This is my mind them. Yeah, like, like some of them would probably be like... If we're going outside of the meta galaxy, going into like outright different dimensions, I mean, some places would just be incompatible with how we exist. Like, not just like what we breathe or whatever, but just like how our shapes are created. First contact, Crispo. The collective mind of Crispo Condi was totally unintelligible to the humans. All right. This plot is beginning to close resemble early nests of insects. Against uh -huh. card of score immediately starts slaying the yeah that that tracks. And Crispo and Mash enter the path. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was just kind of begging for problems. Oh no. And so Sellers managed to lock major cities and the rest of the world to the Crispo. Great. You did it. Earth was destroyed, leaving millions of the softies. <laughs> oh no! Crispo sprang a new surprise. A human body served extremely well as biomass for their larvae. Sounds like a good time. The Clash! That's a that's a band. Rapidly decreasing south population and tempted a last counterstroke inspired by the open mind. Genetic intrusion. Okay, okay, okay. Weird, but okay. Genetic... Huh. It's like antibodies of... on a genetic level. 
Con class with Christopher Home World Cry was mine. Well, look at that. All problem solved, no gaming required. Oh, the combined genetic structure. Oh. And biomechanical chaos race all the original stuff. Oh, jeez. Muyo of Spawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. The majority of them had no chance of survival, but after a while, three basic varieties of the species, the bios, began to form from diversity of mutant losties. Jesus hell, this is a bad time for everyone. So now it's okay, okay. Crispo anatomy proved to be more advanced, better suited for local habitat. Softy complex nervous system proves superior in terms of versatility. Okay, so crispo bodies, but softy like brain design. For basic worlds of the chain are now inhabited by the three bios. So bios is just like people, englobing all races, species. They're mingled now. But that is neat. The crispo. The pioneer soft appear to be a highly organized collective mind of insect them. Yeah, so a high mind. An ooh social species, basically. Like uh, ants or bees. Uh, the crystal manifest intelligence. Ah, okay. This is the larva subnaran creatures and capable of fast movement and relatively weak. Ranicon. So, more or less, the queens, kinda ish. Except they call it larvae here. Yeah, no, but uh, as of that, this is very, like, just science bug facts. We're at the top of the colony hierarchy, yeah, with the queen as their head, at their head. Queen and not says her own consciousness or identity. Oh, that is weird. Okay. That is so cool. Expansion of crypto was highly organized again with invasion of the queen's satellites into the area. They occupied. That makes sense. Yeah, through pheromones. Some from Sun, yeah, that was established. Oh, that is so rad. spirit that urged them to ceaselessly search for their raison d'être. They do not have a font for E with a hat on it. Accent circonflex. I don't know what's that in English. Crispo were free from such high matters. Leading strength lay in the integration of. I do love this, like, kind of squishy yellow font on a green textured background, though. It's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to read. First beings by the queen, a complicated and well-organized biological system. The clash, sorry, these rise from both softy and the few biomes produced during the Wuyang spawn. Cable of physical survival in here, the combination of racial instincts, yeah, producing urgent, which had lost any meaning. Right. Losty! During the clash, while defending themselves from the Crispo, softy built underground enclave city esclaves, which became home of their descendant, the Losty. It's, it's, it's plural, but there's no S. So the Losty inherited their brains from the sound of the subconscious integration and many weird psychic features. Alright. So yeah, human... Yeah, it's like, it's okay. So they're not just purely human in the mutant. No, they're like separate. They're like a third thing. This insane uh, result in, in the bios existing in urban communities. The bunches. The endlessly practice cult ritual, the only reason we they have is to survive only by strict adherence to conversation and laws that develop over time. Lunch cycle is several stages, each of which is closely connected to the physiology of one of the bodies. Completion of each such function depends on the sun of a particular lab, observed as a catalyst. Oh boy, is all of this like important? Like it's fantastic, but I wonder how much I'm gonna remember. Up an addiction to the sense. Okay, no, yeah, and that's kind of like how bugs again react, just with like adapted to a more complex nervous system. Without any connection to queen. So now all the larvae, they're not like all like hanging out together in the hive mind. They're all isolated. 
Right, of course. They're having a bad time, probably. Now in the present, it is now a thousand year after- A thousand year after all this has kind of been happening and adapted and kind of, This is just what reality is. Uh, they stabilized and formed aberrant tribes of inbred creatures living on the rubble of powerful and ancient civilization to practice endless cult cycles and attempt to establish a rationale for their existence. The player, that's gonna be me, and vacuously also he is vacuously the white ruler, doesn't matter a little bit. The player belongs to the clan of Vangers. So that's the name of the game. <laughs> Title drop! Explorers, warriors, traders, and pirates in a world that is only just beginning to wake up from oblivion. The strange world of the lost chain emerge as time passes. They're they they are full of mystery, weird happenings, and dangerous competitors. Eventually, it will be revealed that the clash between the Softy and the Crispo was not coincidental. The history of the Bouillon Spawn has been planned by the Infinite Mine. Ooh, okay. Alright. We are the next step of life. There we go. Huh. So, fun fact. When I saw the trailers, I thought the graphics were like digitized, like clay animation or something this is uh, the game is entirely voxels this is voxatron <laughs> this is the true shape of voxatron believe it or not okay welcome back poor pill girl oh so i was told that sometimes things are like hard to read that's on purpose like in the original language it is also kind of hard to read like it's it's just language thought you were completely dead have to give another one away I just clicked on you. Well, yeah, you can see my, my cursor. There's all these panels here. I don't know what they do. Oh, we, we get to see what you look like. Is this rude to do this? There's your hands. Why do you have hands? Why does that bother me? There's bugs living there. There's a CD. Save. Alright, that's probably no. That's probably yes. Uh, is there a load? I don't know. Inquire. Okay. Up to world. Let's talk. Arrow. Speak. What's that? Inquire. Uh, inquire about your butt. No? Okay, I don't know how that works. Speak. I don't know what I'm mumbling about. I don't even know how I'm existing. What's this again? Let's talk. You know what happens? Yesterday you were a dapper little caterpillar without a care in the world. Now you're climbing into your mechos and going up ugh, from our warm <laughs> up there to plow the roads of fostral, uh, scarring everyone you meet. Scaring everyone you meet into ditches. Why don't I do that? Oh, okay. So now I have access to this. I go like up and down. I don't know, man. All right, so I, I can do what is Mekos? This seems relevant. What is Mekos, counselor? You are its slave. I am slave to the Mekos that I'm gonna climb on. That is also my servant. This is a complicated relationship. What is Frostral, Counselor? We are on Frostral now, on a world. You won't understand what I mean until you learn the nature of the chain. Now no I'm touched Frostral. I'm look, I'm taking my time, okay? This is a lot. Elipodes! Uh, elipods. I'm okay, that's you. Lipkey, an elipod. And you are an el okay, so you're my parent. But I'm not you. So your name is Leapkey, you are an Ellipod, you birthed me, but I am not an Ellipod. Got it. No, I mean, sure, why not? It reminds me of the aliens, how they don't, like, you know, birth uh, aliens. It's complicated. <laughs> Yes. And you're you're a clot of mucus cast away from the pods. Your fate is clear. You'll take your rattle trap and be thrown off. 
Jeez. Really? Okay. No, honestly, like, I'm glad that as soon as I was birthed, I have an understanding of language at the very least. Uh, uh huh. Oh no. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I read that in the intro, don't worry. Bibu rats that live on Glorks? Uh huh. Kuzawaks. Like E.T. or Et? I'm not sure. So you do not know what's going on outside. Fostral is big and we're on the bottom. We're on the bottom of Fostral. Our enclave is here. Far up is Incubator, the holy place, which is where we sent our tasty Nimbos to prolong the Illipod race. Okay. Spirit to all the creatures in the chain. Oh boy. I don't know what a cert is, and I don't know if I want to know. Choices, Mechos, an ancient machine you'll own and die in for. For there are quite a lot of you. Knights on the road. Yeah, knights, pirates, merchants, like the whole. Mangers are a thing going on. Yeah, okay. This is taking a long time. <laughs> Don't get... Okay, you're free to do whatever you want. Your job was to create me and others like me and then send me off, basically. Whatever happens after that, you don't care more than you have to. Alright. Get some secret nimbos from here and take it to the other hand of Postral and to... Yeah, so yeah, so I'm gonna have some Nimbos. I'm gonna have to get that to the incubator on the other end of Fostral, on the other side of the map. And from there I'll meet like another, well, your finger. I'll figure out what that is in good time. Okay. Oh, Jesus, hell, now we he close the door. He's not here anymore. Here's Arrow. I'm guessing that's my money. That's the car. <laughs> so Mikko's just a car, right? Ancient car. We get cost. No, okay. When it has these stats, that's car. That doesn't change. Are the where's here? That's the nimbos I need to get. How do I buy? Put this here. Nice. Yeah. Do I put more? Okay, I only need the one. How about this? So I'm, I guess, okay. So I, I'm taking this as like, uh, my car. What am I talking about? Like the storage, like the back of my car. And this is going to be stuff. Here we get gears. I cannot read that. Mac Hotin Gun. Probably want that. Has damage, load, shot per second, and burst. Can afford it. Yeah. Okay, here's the speedy system, which I cannot afford. Um. Okay, this is like more stuff. I have $34 left, so I don't know if I was wise with my, um... You can oxidize for 2000 That's like another option, I'm guessing. Oh, speedle system. Okay, so these are the things. Gorb gear, I cannot afford. Gorb gear, I cannot afford. Poop pile, I cannot afford. Yeah, I just can't afford anything. But it's all here. There is stuff. I don't know if he has his own stock or not or what, but here we are. I gotta go up there. Can I just save here? I can do that and do this. I'm assuming it's saved. 122, is there a load? I don't know what I just did. 
Okay, and I can still ask him questions, it looks like. Oh, I can put... I put... Orange stuff all over the place if I want. Good. Ooh, you can paint. Customization! I don't know why that is, but there is, and that is... I'm afraid to click the button. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna press the button tomorrow. I'm too afraid. I'm too... I don't know, man. I don't know what to expect. I mean, the reading here took kind of a while, to be fair. And I kind of want to have time to play around outside, figuring it out what's going to happen. So today was lore. Come back next time if you're interested to see how this lore translates to video game, I guess. Yeah, when I quit, uh, it showed me this sweet little title screen, but only when you quit, I guess? I guess. <laughs> I just want to put this here for the thumbnail.